Hello, everyone. This could be a very less structured and also very informal video, and it's coming up on a Saturday because the topic I'm discussing can't wait. Um, because I'm putting this out, and I intend this to go live on no uh, November 2nd of 2024, if you're watching this much later, and that's because this is my encouragement for you to go vote. If you are registered to vote and or as eligible and registered to vote, go vote. Go out there and do it. Um, it matters. Um, even if you're not in a swing state, your vote matters. Even if it's, and even for races that aren't necessarily the ones that you'd normally think of. Races like, for example, well, um, school board. Even if you don't have kids, your vote in school board races matters. As we've, I'm in Oregon, and we've seen here in like the Albany school board, um, that's Albany, um, where we've had a very right wing leaning school board come in and try to put policies in place to deliberately make people of color, LGBT uh, students of color, LGBT students, deliberately make them feel unwelcome and drive them from the school. And this led to litigation against the school district. And um, ultimately, the school lost and ended up getting hit with a bunch of money um, in damages from that. Plus, the as part of them doing this, they fired the administrator who opposed this premature without cause, um, formally without cause. Um, they, they had a reason for doing it, namely that he opposed to their unconstitutional policies. Um, and the school lost that lawsuit too and cost them a bunch of money and damage. So even if this is a case of, so if you support LGBT kids, if you want to protect trans kids, if you want to protect students of color in your school district, that's a reason to vote for, um, on down ballot races for school board. If you care about how your school district's money is spent, then it matters for you to vote in down ballot races because uh, for school, or stuff like school board, even if you don't have kids, because otherwise you potentially end up having your school spending a bunch of money on, on lawsuits, stupid lawsuits. Um, school boards have been a focus of um, book ban attempts, not just at public library systems, but school boards as a part of that, or in some cases as an extension of that. When you have cases like in Utah, where you have school, where you have laws on the books, where if a book is banned in schools, it must also be banned in public libraries. So, down ballot races matter. Races for school board matter because uh, your school board's going to be the ones who go to bat for your librarians and uh, at your school and your access. And this carries over to libraries in general in your area. Libraries are important and matter. That's how I get a lot of books for this that I record that I review on this channel. Um, protect and support your libraries. For that matter, um, if there is if your library is uh, supported is funded by bonds or by uh, property tax measures or that sort of thing, those will be on your ballot. Vote on those. Um, if your library is run by your local city council, that. Those city council may races and mayoral races matter. Um, so, like, the, we're in a presidential election year. That's a big deal. But a lot of those other races all the way down the ballot matter, too. So, again, vote. Get out there and vote. If you are eligible to vote and can vote, vote. Um, if you have the avail availability of early voting in your area, in Oregon, we do vote by mail and also drop off ballots in ballot drop boxes, which, as we unfortunately learned as of this recording, or had to learn as of this recording, have fire retardant systems installed in them in case somebody tries to firebomb them or other locations. But also in some places, like in Georgia, have in person early voting as well. So feel free to go out there and beat the line and vote. And vote early. You take advantage of early voting if you can. It'll help um, make things easier for everybody on the actual election day. So, 
I've said this multiple times in this video. I'm going to say it again. Um, then this is a unstructured shooting straight from the hip video. Um, there will be no opening credits in front of this. There will be no closing credits after this. There will be no post roll, really. Because what matters here is the message. And the message is, get out there get in the United States. You are registered to vote. and You are eligible to vote and registered to vote. Get out there and vote. Do your civic duty. And also, if you hadn't figured out from the stuff in advance of this in terms of me stating my support for LGBT people, uh, people with disabilities, um, people of uh, people of color, students of color, it's like, I'm, I'm voting for Harris. I don't know in this case, I've already dropped my ballot, so I have voted for Harris. So the, the point is, um, Harris has my support and endorsement. Um, also, um, since we have this on the ballot in uh, Oregon for a statewide office thing, um, for that matter, um, if you have ranked choice voting in your area or laws that would allow for ranked choice voting or would block ranked choice voting, um, support ranked choice voting. Um, I've got to use it when I took part in voting for the Hugo Awards for World Science Fiction Convention. Um, it's honestly pretty straightforward. It's, it, it looks complicated. It seems complicated at first, but it's really not. I will probably, if it passes in Oregon, I will for a statewide thing as opposed to just Portland. I think I'll do a video on it and talking about ranked choice voting and explaining how it works because it's it's neat and I like it. And for that matter, if you care about third party candidates and want to have on your local in your local races having third party candidates for state legislature or that sort of thing have more oomph to their runs, um, ranked choice voting helps third party candidates in a way that first past the post doesn't. So, something else to keep in mind. And that's my very quick, at sub 10 minutes, uh, video on encouraging you to vote. So, with that out of the way, why are you still watching this? Get out there, vote!